Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. You're not gonna believe this. It's a very special moment. We've been waiting for this. I have been waiting for this. It's gone. Are you ready? It's really gone. Here it is, or here it's not. Oh, you remember that? You remember that spot right there? Where there was this big, ugly, nasty, gross fifth wheel? It's gone. <laughs> gone yes so happy we got the fifth wheel out of here now we've got raw land now you can envision what this place could be like because before with that nasty fifth wheel you can't you can't you can't see things you can't see past that wart on the land that cancer and now I see possibility so I'm here today with Dave, Bush Radical, and we're gonna dial in this piece. I'm gonna cut a bunch of stuff out right here. He's gonna take down this big, where is it? Right there. He's gonna cut that big dead hemlock down, because that's gotta go. And we can start to envision this place and where the cabin might go. So it's very exciting. We're here to do some work, but sadly, we're also here say goodbye to the tent for winter because it's probably like 35 degrees out here 37 maybe it's it's chilly snow has already fallen snows in the forecast the tent's got to come down sad day it's a good day happy day and a sad day stay tuned Nicely done! Right where you wanted it. <coughs> well, You're, of course. You are pro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice job. What Thank a, you. What a beast. That's a good tree. Wow. It's more solid in the middle than you think. Yeah. Look at all that good firewood. For the winter. Forever. How far off my kick mark was I? Oh, right here. Pretty close. Oh, uh, darn it. <laughs> Good job. Oh, I'm glad to see that gone. Yeah, me too. Let's get a fire going. It's yes. friggin' cold. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Good day, good day, good day. Yo! It's a big tree. Very big tree.
That's so much good wood. Really yeah, good. Too bad we don't have an axe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so what a bunch of dodos. We forgot the axe. It, it feels pretty damp actually. Really? Yeah, it kind of does. Maybe it's just because I, I cut some of that with that echo saw. And that echo saw has a super aggressive oiler, so it could be oily. But it feels damp to me. Like, yeah, it's standing dead, but I mean, feel it. It's, it's pretty damp. Oh, wow, it does feel damp. Let me see what my saw. Yeah, I think it's just damp. Sure does. Usually you stick your... I don't think I'd dare ski in here and expect that to burn. I don't know. <coughs> Stack it up and let it dry under a tarp. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of dead maple around here. You can find a little bit of dead maple. It won't take much in a little tent stove. Yeah. And uh, all of this stuff, you know, we can cut this up and you can tarp that off. Yeah, I'm going to. We can come yeah. back in here with axes. You can. You're the man. Why am I, when am I going to be back here with an axe? Split me up some wood. I don't know that I'll be back here. It could be a foot of snow here in, in a couple hours. You know how to ski. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've got plans. I'm going to tell you guys a little later. I got plans for this place for the winter. You'll see. Yeah, this might burn. I think it'll totally burn. It feels damp, but it doesn't have hardly any weight to it. I mean, like this block. I know, they don't weigh anything. They don't weigh much. You know, you're cutting through it, it was like butter. There's nothing to this wood. All right, so what we're gonna do, Dave and I are gonna attack this so we can open that up and see the ridge. That stupid trailer's been in the way, and now we get to open it up. We got this little picnic table to burn. We're gonna start a fire here, start burning some stuff, flame, and chainsaws. Yeah! All this was in the way. Look at this beautiful ridge. Oh, now we can see it. Yes. All right, I gotta step back and take a look. Oh, wow. The change is amazing. Oh, whoa. Look at it now. It's so much more open. We burned that up and we're pretty much done. That's awesome. Let's get started. Yeah. That really is so dramatic with the trailer out and that 
corner opened up. Oh man, potential has been revealed. Yeah, if you, if you, you can imagine clearing a few things out there, flattening this all up, right there's a cabin. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how you'd ever get that tree trunk or that tree stump out of there. The big hemlock there? Yeah. Dozer. <laughs> That's some nice wood though. Yeah, it is. Got our good fire going here, getting rid of the slash. And I have been busy picking up this stuff for winter when I come back in here. Nice, good dry stuff for winter. Don't kill yourself. This one's wet. Hardwood. Hardwood for next year. Hardwood. Well done. Look at the right expression. Yes. Yeah. Be in awe of you like this. You should, uh, should be like hanging on my leg. You know, like not, not like <laughs> not like a monkey. Down like, you know, like on a Star Wars poster. <laughs> I love it. Not like a four year old. <laughs> I was gonna like, climb you. You're climbable. That's pretty funny. Oh, it's getting cleared out. You can see the ridge. Yes. Woohoo! There's not much here. I know. Oh, there you go. Wow, that other one. Yeah. There's some good firewood in that, too. I think if we got a rope around it, we can pull it back. We can pull hill. it towards us and pull that one There's down. Thing. I think it might. I think it's wet enough. Never mind. <laughs> it's gone. Look at this ridge is like suddenly available now. I know. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful cedar over there. You know My what? Cedar tucked in. That hemlock there needs to go and we could see that cedar. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Uh, I know, trimming a couple branches right now. Get the pole saw. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's do it. Look at this ridge. You had to clear out all this stuff. That's why, you know, we had to do the fire to see it. We had to cut all this because this view, the ridge, is fantastic. Such a satisfying evening. You got it, babe? <laughs> <laughs> God, just give me a sec. Okay. We got this. You know what? Do you? Use a little more length. Okay. Saw radio. And this is the one that counts. You guys ready? <laughs> ready for the big reveal? Okay. Ridge! Oh, that sucks. Yeah. There's some beautiful big trees back there. You just gotta cut stuff down to see it. How's that? Lovely. Now come and do this one. Yeah. yeah I see. Like right here. Yeah, and the one below it, like, it's, that, yeah, that's the one. 
Well, that's gonna take you a while. <laughs> you could use a new blade. Yeah, that's a thicker branch. There we go. Yes! In this hockey. It's like instant gratification. Oh man, I smell it. You know those hemlocks just smell so good. Oh, yes. That is worth the price of admission. That's fantastic. Such, such quick gratification on that. Oh. You're letting me down. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. That is beautiful. It is such a pretty ridge and we couldn't see it. So we cut all this stuff down. So I know there's gonna be people like, you cut so many trees. You know what? It's necessary. There's, there's 10 trillion trees on this property. You gotta cut some down so you can see the real the real gems, the real big pines and cedars. You're ab you are absolutely <laughs> being exaggerative. Exaggerative? You're exaggerating. <laughs> Thank you. There is not 10 trillion trees on this property. But the truth is, there's two human beings and there's probably a hundred thousand trees on this place. This 10 acre spot. This is thick timber country. And in order for any of these trees to grow and be mature, big trees like some of these big ones back here, you know, some of these small ones, they're never going to reach that age. They're just going to die and then they're going to tip over. And best to cull some of the, the smaller stuff that's never going to make it. Yeah, and that way we can see the beauty, the beauty beyond. And the beauty right now is this fire and the trailer is gone and oh my gosh, it's a good day. Very good day. And that right there, that's success. Satisfying. Here's the thing, clearing land is like the DIYers it's like if you're a homesteader, if you're if you got a piece of raw land, clearing the land, making it beautiful is like it's 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 so satisfying. Working with your hands, seeing the vision. This is what it's all about. Man, that's awesome. really reaches. All right guys, it's getting dark and it is snowing. So we're supposed to get snow tonight, and snow next week, and snow, snow, snow. That's why we're here getting this, getting this place cleaned up, getting fire put away for winter. Got plans for this place and we have to take the tent down. It's not gonna happen tonight. We're gonna sleep through this probably wake up to snow and have to take the tent down but it's snowing there is snow very lightly coming down i thought i'd mention it before it gets too dark to film we're still burning away it's so fun and Did you get a picture of the firewood yeah i'm getting the getting the wood stacked up getting the fire going little stacks here and there for when I come in the winter. Still cleaning up this mess here. That's what I'm working on before dark. These are fantastic. Yeah, it is really good stuff. Oh, this is just nice and dry. This would be great for the middle of winter. Lovely.
that spark. It's a white pine on the drive in. What? On the, uh, the driveway, there's a white pine. Nice. Wow, this is cool. Tree carnage. <laughs> I love it. This is all that's left of this pile. Mm -hmm. It's all cleared up. Yep. All gone. That is so awesome. Oh, amazing. That trailer was sitting right here. Yep. Wow. Such a good day. I think that other pile's doing its thing. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Making progress. Got a bunch of dry wood, too. I've got a tarp to cover that up. Mm -hmm. And anything else we need to cover up. Wow, it's only quarter after seven. <laughs> yeah, not surprised. That's crazy. Oh yeah. So we got this one, bam. And then across the way, another one. <laughs> another brush pile that I made a while ago. So we got burnage on both sides. Pretty cool. Getting going, all right. Goodness, if I had this on manual freaking focus all day. <laughs> Have you? I don't know. I just switched it over and it's like... Oh, I can see really good now that I I had it on manual focus with Belle taking her pictures. Oh, if you had it on manual oh all day. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a disaster. Yeah. That's all right. Oh. Oh my goodness. Remember when Cable messed with all our cameras? He's like, let's go film. <laughs> They were yeah. all screwed up. Yes. That's, had, that was a good learning lesson. We had to try to figure it out. I don't remember what he did. Because I don't think he said anything. No. And and every camera had been screwed up. Like every setting was off. He told us what to do. You know, what was important. And then like we went for lunch or something and came back and they were all sabotaged. <laughs> so we're, you know. Yes. If you didn't catch it, you're just butchering footage. The the wonderful one nugget of takeaway I remember from that is when I was looking over the ocean, he came and looked at my shot and he's like, yep. look at look at the horizon, is your is your water level? Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh yeah, I didn't pay attention to that. That that I so remember that, like taking that with me forever. Yep. <coughs> Sean Cable is a very, very good teacher. So is the other guy, Paul. Yeah. That's how you learn. He, when he, he just sab sabotages you. all the cameras. It screws your camera up. Let's go film. Nothing's right. You're like, yeah. ah. And you get it. And you're like, oh yeah, I need to check everything every time. Yep. Man, it's no wonder nothing was focusing on me tonight. I had it on freaking manual focus. I've got these sausage chicken like hot pockets here. It sure smells good. 
I'm gonna dig into that. I have had it sitting here on the wood stove. We are in the tent, which is just amazingly cozy and warm. We're lounging on the bed and I can smell this thing cooking. I'm ready to dig in. Tortilla. That's nice and tangy. They're so good. This is good. You try it? Yeah. Mmm. This is really good. Mmm. Oh, the garlic. Mmm. Got nice and crispy on the bottom. Wow, I'd get that again. Super good. All right, guys. That's going to do it for us. We're going to bed. See you in the morning. Yow! I'm just out of battery. I know. That's a good sleep. What's up? <laughs> it's so peaceful in here. The crackling and the candles and our coffee water is warming up. Boy, that's so pretty. Cozy, cozy. Yeah, it's coming down now. It's snowing. Yeah. Yup, today's the day, unfortunately. It's starting to come down pretty good, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is too. I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough water here. Calm down. I don't hear it. Yeah, I think I think the snow is. Look at this deliciousness we got going: bacon, onions, green peppers. We got hash browns and sourdough toast. It's gonna have us a big egg scramble in our last morning for the year at this tent. Oh, so sad. It's been a very enjoyable. Very enjoyable time here, though. Absolutely. Oh, this breakfast. It's going to be so good. Are you starving? No, not bad. Well, the, uh, the idea of coming back here in the winter it hasn't... I haven't caught the bug yet. You haven't caught the bug? No. Oh, I'm so ready. I want to come back here in the winter, ski in. I, you know, it, it, winter time is magical because there's just nobody out and about. It's just so awesome. Do you want it on top or on the side of your hash browns? Doesn't matter to me. Not at all. Ooh. Ow! Hot toast. The stove is doing a great job. Yeah, it looks like it got pretty oh, hot. Oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm-mm. That's good.
That's the ticket. I had it all day, all night. It's a good song. Here's your coffee. Need a fork. Here the squirrel. Oh man. Is it good? Mm, excellent. Can't be a tent breakfast. I thought I heard something else earlier today. Up here, between us and the neighbor. There was sound like there was something up in the woods. It was Sasquatch. Well, I don't think it was a Sasquatch, but it definitely sounded bigger. Hmm. It's a wolf. It could be. If we would have had the wolf with us, there'd be fear in the woods. She'd have lost her mind. <laughs> Yep, you gotta stick her inside at night. She's a fool. Woo! Mm. Feels better on over here. <laughs> it's so hot by the stove. Right. Mm. That's so good. So this is what we're dealing with now. It's snowing, baby. We're trying to get this last little bit here, this pile burnt. And uh, we've made good, good progress. So while Dave is doing that, I, I'm taking down the tent. There's a lot of snow in the forecast and we just can't, can't chance it. It's absolutely beautiful out here though. We got so much done last night. It's nice to see it in the daylight. Uh, got to cover up all this wood. Got some right here I need to cover up. Um, I got this, I got to cover up better. That's our pile from last night and uh, the ridge beyond and got to cover up these beautiful logs. But right now what I'm doing is taking down the tent for the winter. So sad. So, I'm getting stuff packed away. Well guys, we're about wrapped up. We got the tent down. We got stuff buttoned up for now. And uh, place, we've made so much progress in the last 24 hours. Unbelievable. Let me show you. You gonna just lean on that rake or are you gonna do something? A little bit of both. <laughs> we got a good pile of uh, hardwood here. But that is where the tent was. And uh, I've gotta come back and get a few things. Couldn't get the stove loaded up but um look at this space now 
all these piles that are covered up, it, it's just wood. All that really big hemlock there, they're still in rounds. And I've got some really nice smaller piles that will be ready to use nice and dry. So yeah, it's over for now, but it's not over. I have big plans for the winter here that I haven't shared with you guys. So come back on the next episode. I'm going to be revealing that and uh, it's getting cold. I think it's time to go. So I'll see you next time. It's girl in the woods. She gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy.